Welcome to the Pit Post Game, your post game show presented by Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino, winning entertainment including simulcast racing, live music, dining, the best games, and more. Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino. The Miners come to New Mexico and knock off UNM. Final score UTEP 77, Lobos 69. Hey fans, download the new Lobos Sports app, exclusive interviews, including those with the head coaches, live game broadcast, the latest stats and scores. You can win prizes and much more. It's a Lobo Sports app. It's free. Find it in the Apple Store and the Google Store. Download it now and go Lobos. My broadcast partner is Hunter Green. I'm Robert Portnoy. And Hunter, that 16-1 to run at the start of the second half and a stretch there where UTEP also scored 11 straight points to lead at 49-31. to That deficit proved too much for UNM to overcome. Defense traveled for UTEP today. I mean, that, that was really the key to this whole game is New Mexico had no answer to the, the, the pressure that UTEP brought. So, um, yeah, credit UTEP Miners for coming into the pit and just neutralizing this home court. The length of the UTEP guards in particular causing UNM difficulty with the ball and on the perimeter and 10 first-half turnovers set the tone for the game yeah it was just tough difficult when you're turning the ball over and you're not converting on your three-point shot you were one of ten in the first half that's a tough that's a tough hole to come out of in the second half and of course it showed that UTEP came back out again just strong defensively and it wasn't just the I mean it's just their quickness their athleticism that UTEP brought um, and then it felt like the level it just took the levels energy away I just felt like there was no energy after that. Um, and it just could never muster it. I mean, other than Johnson. I mean, Johnson really continued to play. You know, he had 16 points and nine boards. But but a lot of that was just at the end of the game, you know. Um, and a tough night for the New Mexico backcourt tandem of yes. Mashburn and House. Mash finishes 1 for 12 from the field and 0 for 5 from distance. Um, plays over 30 minutes, but never is able to find the range. And Jalen House exited the game with four fouls for the final time at the 11-12 mark and did not return. And House ends up two for seven from the field. Eight points, made one three, and got three points at the foul line. But those two are your top two scores. They average 19 and a half and 17 and a half a game. Almost 20 for Mashburn, almost 18 yeah, about for four, House. About, about 42, 43 percent of the team's scoring. And Lobo's got 10 points total from them tonight. Yeah, so that, that's the difference. And credit UTEP. I mean, and I think a lot of teams will look at the UAB tape, the UTEP tape, where there's taller, quicker guards that can cause problems for the UNM backcourt. And it's a twofold problem, isn't it? Because they cause them problems in being able to get their offense going, and right. then. The Lobos size uh, deficit causes a problem on the defensive end as well. Yes. I didn't see that much of it defensively. I just thought offensively they couldn't see over the uh, over the, the traps. You know, the high ball screens, and out of the high, high ball screens, they get the, the traps that come in. Difficult for House and Mashburn to be able to see out of those, whether you split it or to throw out of it. Well, and maybe not just the size by itself, but perhaps the – athleticism yes. and the size yes, of yeah. that backcourt both. tandem exactly. both of Kennedy yeah. and of Boom the Lobos struggled with that defensively no no question okay time for us to take a timeout post game UTEP 77 Lobos 69 the final we'll hear from Lobo head coach Richard Patino to come it's Lobo basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network my broadcast partner is Hunter Green I'm Robert Portman we'll hear from, hear from Lobo head coach Richard Patino coming up shortly here post game the Miners take down New Mexico, and UNEP dips to 6-5 and five on the year. UTEP improves to 5-4 and four on the campaign. The Miners took control of the game after leading by three at the half with a 16-1 to one run to start the second half. It included 11 straight points at one point before a K.J. Jenkins three ball ended that 11-0 run. The lead was 49-31. to 31. At that time, when the Jenkins three found the bottom, the Lobos down 18, their biggest deficit. They would cut it to eight after a good run that forced a UTEP timeout. You're locked into the Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino Post Game Show, winning entertainment including simulcast racing, 
live music, dining, the best games, and more. The Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino. Final score, UTEP 77 and New Mexico 69 in the pit. Some of the final totals, the Miners shoot 43% for the game, 39% from three, five out of 13, and 76% from the foul line, 22 of 29. The Lobos shoot 39.7% from the floor and four of 18 from the arc. They were just one of 10 from three in the first half. Overall, four of 18 is 22%. Foul shots for the Lobos, 73%, 19 out of 26. Rebounding battle, 41 to 34. 41 to 34, the Lobos win that offensively, 13 to 8. New Mexico wins the offensive rebounding battle. Second chance points, 16 to 11 in favor of the Lobos, and bench points, 27 to 19 for UNM. Paint points, 36 apiece. Fast break points, 21 13, New Mexico. We welcome in Lobo head basketball coach Richard Patino here post game as the Lobos fall 77 to 69. And Coach Patino, what did you tell your team following this one? The, obviously, I think the, the run there at the start of the second half was a decisive point in the game. Yeah, I was disappointed with a lot, obviously. Um, you know, we, we were further away than maybe we feel like we are. You know what I mean? Um, it's going to take some time to build just a toughness and a discipline um, that we clearly don't have yet through the face of adversity. Um, things are going to happen. Just get the next stop, get the next rebound. Uh, so obviously not there yet. Um, it's on me and the coaching staff to fix it. We we got all week uh, to coach our butts off and to get tougher and get more discipline. Coach, uh, going into the game, you know about UTEP's pressure and how they turn teams over. And what was the game plan when they started bringing those traps on the high ball screen? Yeah, we, we, we needed to have a little bit more movement and then do that, you know what I mean? And then we need to short roll a little bit better than we did. Um, but we've got to do a better job as a coaching staff of preparing them for that. Um, but it was still a close game, you know. I mean, it was 33-30 at half. Um, and then all of a sudden we just didn't come out there ready to play. We're, we're, we're a very distracted group. Uh, we don't focus on what's going on on the court. Uh, so we got to get better. And, again, if it's uh, we are a reflection of, of myself and the coaching staff and – we just got to keep grinding and working. Uh, the Lobos called for three technical fouls. Never and... seen it in my life. I, I've never, a, opponent or part of it, I've never seen it. Um, it it's, it's just, it's going to be addressed. Uh, it's not acceptable. It's not on the refs. I don't, I don't blame them at all. Um, so it'll be addressed. Um, and in the second half, obviously, is an important part of, of what you do offensively. Jalen House comes out midway through the second half uh, with four fouls. You liked what Singleton was doing at, at the point in terms of running the team? Yeah, I thought he was fine. I mean, I thought that group that cut it to, what, nine, that that's what Lobo basketball needs to look like. We don't need to be perfect, but we need to be connected. Um, we need to, you know, we need to go down swinging. Um, so that group that I kept out there, uh, I was happy with. Yeah. I really was. I thought they fought, and I thought our fans who, you know, thankfully showed up, um, they can root for that last group that was in there fighting. Well, that last group brought energy, and you could see it, their effort um, on the court. You know, talk about offensively, because you guys struggled in the first half. You were one of ten, I think, from the three. Um, at halftime, was there talks about maybe some backdoor action? Yeah. Because they were really overplaying your guards. Yeah, we tried to go a little bit more pure, pure motion than just kind of our sets. And it was a little bit better. Uh, Mash obviously just had a bad game. Um, but, you know, I'll live with his effort and his yeah. intensity and his discipline all day. Um, you know, so, again, it's it's we were not going to win a pretty game. We still have not been able to win a pretty game. Uh, that game reminded me a little bit of Towson yeah. uh, a little bit. And uh, so we've just got to work on getting tougher. And, you know, myself and the coaches, we got to keep pushing these guys, get them out of their comfort zone. Uh, you know, so we're, we're, we're further away than we may feel at times. It's going to take some time. Well, something that – Hunter and I both saw, and obviously I, I believe this is something that when you guys look at this tape, you can show your team and say, hey, look at this fight. Javante Johnson there in the second half as you guys are trying to come back was doing everything. The hustle plays, um, spectacular. Didn't score in the first half. Ends up your, your leading score. What about his play tonight? Like I said before, that last group, Javante obviously headed it up. Uh, they laid it all out there. I, I can lose with that last group. Um, they weren't worried about the refs. They were. They were. They were connected. Um, 
that's powerful. Uh, it's going to take some time. We're, we're not certainly not there yet. We need this week of practice. SMU will be the best team we've, we've played so far. Um, so it could be another tough night if we don't pull together. So you feel like there was more mental breakdowns than the than physical, anything. mental, everything. Yeah. You know, I, I we struggled to respond when you know we get punched in the right. mouth. Um, How do you it, react? Yeah, yeah. We, we're not we're not reacting just. To, and UTEP is a tough physical team. Um, we've we we have to find a way to not win pretty, and you don't win pretty in league games.